Hello students, today we will discuss few numerical on laminar flow in a circular pipe. So let's start. So before going to that, we must uh, know a little bit about uh, laminar flow in circular pipe. That is called hagen poiseuille equations. So there is a few assumptions. The fluid flow must must valid Newton's law of viscosity. There is no slip of fluid particles at the boundaries. So regarding derivations, you, you may know. So from the derivation, you will get uh, tau is equal to this is uh, pressure gradient r by 2 which indicate linear this equation actually this one so shear stress at the wall will be maximum and at the center will be zero okay and you know if you put we consider this one as a r smaller and this total radius is a radius is capital r and to get the maximum shear stress at the wall it will be given by this so simply small r is replaced by capital r at the wall so from the newton's law you know the tau which is equal to mu du by dy and if you put the values for y r minus uh, capital R minus smaller then you will get one equation like this derivation if you go through the books you will get the derivation du is equal to 1 by 2 mu dp by dx r dr so if you integrate that one with respect to r you finally you get the u u and plus c c is the constant for integration and if you put the boundary conditions r is equal to capital r you will be zero so at the walls actually for circular pipe velocity is zero and if you put that one you will get the equation u is equal to minus 1 by 4 mu dp by dx back at close capital R square is small r square and similarly u max you can easily find it out okay and this is the equation and average velocity is given by this equation and if you put the value like this u is equal to this one and we got this one from u max and if you integrate that you will get hagen poiseuille equation and there is another one this is called Reynolds number so this those equations are basically used to solve the problem so let's start one problem so we consider one problem here an oil of viscosity 9 poise and specific gravity 0.9 is flowing through the horizontal pipe of 60 mm diameter if the pressure drop is 100 uh, mm length pipe is 1800 kilo newton per meter square determine rate of the flow of the oil center line velocity that is the maximum velocity total frictional drag over 100 meter length and power required to maintain the flow so in this uh, problem the given data are so here mu is given which is 9 poise let's convert into newton second meter square it will be 0.9 newton second meter square then specific gravity of the oil is given which is 0.9 diameter of the diameter of the pipe is given 60 mm so 0 0.06 meter so you can easily find out the area 
area is pi by 4 d square pi by 4 0 0.06 square and if you do the calculation you will get 0 0.002827 meter square and here pressure drop is given pressure drop that is del p or you can say p1 minus p2 is given 1800 kilo newton meter square so if you remember Hagen Poiseuille's equation p1 p2 is equal to pressure drop 32 mu average velocity length divided by d square so here if you put the value 1800 into 10 to the power 3 why it is 10 to the power 3 because kilo newton is given kilo newton per meter square then 32 will be given 32 mu will be 0 0.9 velocity we don't know you have to find out length is given 100 L is given 100 so D is 0 0.06 is square and if you perform the calculation you will get U is, U bar is equal to 2.25 meter per second let's say whether this uh, velocity that is velocity come under laminar flow or not for that purpose we use Reynolds number so RE is by D by mu so density is given 0 0.9 into 1000 this is your row velocity is 2.25 diameter is 0 0.6 and mu is given 0 0.9 and if you do the calculation your RD is equal to your RD is equal to 135 so here which is less than 2000 so so flow is laminar After that, you have to find out number one is rate of flow. That is Q you have to find out. So Q is equal to A into U bar. So A which is 0 0.002827 into 2.25. Five. And if you do the calculation, you will get 0 0.00636 meter cube per second or you can convert this one into 6.36 liter per second so after that you know u max is equal to 2u bar we already discussed about it this go through it so it will be 2 into 2.25 so it will be 4.5 meter per second and you know the shear stress at wall so shear stress at wall is given by dp by dx r by 2 so here dp by dx is equal to the 
this is the pressure drop divided by the length so pressure drop is 18 by 3 due to kilo newton per meter square thousand and you will get 18 thousand and then your tau wall will be 18,000 this is your minus pressure drop into so your radius will be 0 0.06 divided by 2 divided by 2 so ultimately we get 273 newton meter square so you have to find out have to find out frictional frictional drag drag for 100 meter length so for this purpose this fd suppose frictional drag Tau naught into pi dl pi dl so whole surface area we have to consider for the frictional drag so this will be 270 into pi into 0 0.06 into length is 100 and if you calculate you will get 5089 Newton or you can say 5.089 kilo Newton after that you have to find out the power power required to power power required to maintain maintain the flow so your P power is equal to Ft into average velocity. So five point zero eight nine into two point two five it will be eleven point four five that is kilowatt. So that is the problem. I hope you will like it and see you soon and we will try to solve two more problems based on Hagen-Poiseuille's equation. Thank you. Stay safe.